Hi there, I'm the Love Slug. Some of you might know me as that slug who mods for like every VTuber, or as the slug who gets banned for bullying politicians on Twitter, or as just Slug. Who exactly is Slug? Where did he come from? What qualifies him the title of Love Mollusk? Well, if you'll indulge me, I'd like to start things off here by telling you all a story that will answer those questions and probably create a bunch of new ones. So, without any further delay, I present to you the history of Slug. Our story starts not too long ago, deep in a quiet little forest far off the beaten path. In this forest, there was a swamp, and by that swamp lived a happy little slug. The little slug spent his days, as most slugs do, eating, sleeping, vibing. The slug was as content as a slug could be, but sometimes he found himself yearning for something more. He wanted to see and experience the world beyond his little swamp. Just what was out there, he wondered. And though the thought of leaving his little home frightened him, one day he worked up the courage and set out on an adventure to see what the world had to offer. Now, he didn't go very far and it took him an awfully long time to do it. The days passed and just as the slug was starting to grow weary of his travels, he came across a vast jungle of vegetables outside of an enormous wooden fort. The little slug was starving and he couldn't resist the allure of all the fresh veggies. He wiggled his way up one of the plants and helped himself to a big juicy tomato. It was delicious. Tired from his journey and his belly full, the slug drifted off to sleep. After a long, well-deserved snooze, the slug awoke to find himself in quite the peculiar place, and possibly quite the predicament. The slug was trapped, in a jar of all places. He wasn't quite sure why, but the slug started to get a bizarre sense of deja vu, and then dread. Before he could pony, uh, <clears throat> sorry, ponder on it any longer, a figure came into the little slug's view and startled him. Before him stood a beautiful and mysterious woman. Unbeknownst to the slug, this woman was a witch, and he was to be an ingredient in her next potion. The witch was frantically flipping through the pages of various tomes, scribbling down notes and tossing all sorts of herbs and such into a bowl of bubbling purple liquid. It started to dawn on the slug that he might be the next thing tossed into that bowl. And if whatever was in that bowl didn't melt him, he'd surely drown. He panicked and he started frantically looking for a way out, but he was too late. All right, little guy, in you go, the witch said, trying to shake him out of the jar. The slug was clinging to the inside of the jar as hard as he could, but he was losing grip. This was it. He was done for. Just as he'd lost his grip and started to tumble out of the jar, the witch's pair of cats, chasing a rodent, came crashing through her workstation, sending her materials flying. The witch was so startled by the commotion, she ended up tossing the jar, along with the slug, into the air. The cats had turned heel, and were now chasing the rodent across the top of a nearby shelf lined with ingredients and potions, all of which the cats sent tumbling down, filling into the concoction in the bowl. With that, it started to bubble even more violently than before. And then... In fell the slug. The mixture started to bubble over, followed by a huge boom! And the room was filled with light. And then, smoke. The witch coughed and tried to get her bearings. And then, suddenly, in her arms was a person. Or at least it looked like a person. It had green skin and purple hair and two big antennae. The creature opened its two big yellow eyes and stared back up at the witch. Hello, it said. The witch was speechless. She set the creature down and realized it stood about 3-8 to her 5-3. Uh, hi? She stammered. Who, what are you? The creature looked itself over and shrugged. I'm a slug, or at least I was. The witch was finally starting to realize what had happened. This was the slug from the jar, the ingredient for her potion. Whatever extra ingredients the cats had knocked in had messed up the concoction and transformed the little slug. 
incredible, she thought to herself. Her magic had created this being. Well, sort of anyways. It could think, it could speak, it was practically human. After a long, somewhat awkward silence, the witch finally spoke. I am Rosalind, a lunar witch. It's a pleasure to, um, meet you? Do you have a name? The slug gave her a puzzled look. Well, we need to call you something, said the witch. Mm, what about... The witch caught a glimpse of a label on one of the shattered bottles behind the slug. Mm, love. She muttered. Their essence must be heavily comprised of love magic. She thought to herself. Love slug. We'll call you love slug. She said assuredly. The slug smiled and looked himself over again. I'm the love slug. <laughs> I love it. Glad to hear it, the witch said with a smirk. Now then, I wouldn't exactly feel right just sending you away, since I did have a hand in turning you into this. And frankly, I'd like to learn more about you. I won't keep you against your will, though. If you'd like, you can stay here. Or leave if you prefer. It's up to you. As the slug was mulling her words over, one of the cats came up to him and rubbed against his leg. It looked up at him and meowed. He smiled. I think I'd like to stay, he said cheerfully. The slug was happy. He'd had his adventure. Or maybe it was only beginning. The slug would spend his time reading and playing games, chatting with the witch. They truly enjoyed each other's company, and as the years passed, they fell in love. Maybe it was the love magic that composed his being. Regardless, he loved the witch dearly, and she him. In time, they married, and now they spend their days happily together. And that brings us to the end of our story, or rather to the beginning of a new story, I suppose. I hope you'll stick around for the continuing adventures of the love slug.